Welcome back again to the Ivory Tower Collections. Today I'm going to do a gameplay video review on a homebrew for the Mega Drive Genesis, Sega Mega Drive and Genesis, that actually came out a number of years ago. And uh, I had meant to do a review on this a long time ago, so it's way, way overdue. And that game is this right here. It's called Mini Planets, and it's programmed and uh, basically directed graphics. Most of the work was done by a programmer who goes by Seek on the Sega 16 forums. Additionally, uh, his actual name was Javier Del Gromo, I believe it is. I probably mispronounced that and I apologize. Additionally, music is programmed by Iris Melody and booklet and covers that we see designed were done by Philippe Monge. So, uh, Mini Planets, yeah, what's it about? Well, it's really, really cool. Basically, the game is sort of a overhead action platformer, puzzle, puzzle action platformer of sorts. You play as this main character here, which again, I'm going to have to guess on the pronunciations, but I believe the character's name, it's a she by the way, is Keisha. And basically Keisha is the protector of the Planilago system. And the Planilago is comprised of many little archipelagos of uh, planet groups known as mini planets. And basically the storyline is that one day, a evil presence known as the Void has invaded the Planilago system, and with it has taken Keisha's children. Each child governs a particular archipelago or planet system of many planets, and each one has unique characteristics, which actually partake in the gameplay itself, or are part of the gameplay. Or that's the basic plot. You play as the main character, Keisha, and you're basically going from planet to planet to solve the puzzles, open the portals to open up the next world, and eventually remove the void from the presence of the system and save all your children and save the day. So, what's the basic game come with? Well, you can see that it comes in a standard Genesis cartridge shell, which looks really nice, by the way. It does feature a reversible cover. I believe this is the cover mine came with, or maybe I changed it to this one, I can't remember. It also comes with a very nice full color, the instructions, has names of... Uh, all of her of Keisha and all of her children. Basic gameplay, there is a password feature in the game, which I'll kind of show you a little bit. Options and basically how to play. Yeah. So yeah, that's very cool. The cartridge itself on mine, now I actually had a limited release version of this. So as a result, um, mine actually comes in a purple translucent shell. I'm not sure if they still come this way or not. I ordered mine some time ago. Like I said, I've been meaning to do this for a long time. But uh, it's very, very cool. And it looks to be on, uh, I want to say this might be one of DB Electronics' flash carts, based on the red colored PCB I can see through here. But yeah, looking good. I like that it basically features the same cover art that's on the manual as well as on the case. So with that, let's pop it in. And let's check out Mini Planets. Okay. Here we are with the uh, Mini Planets title screen. As soon as you turn on your Genesis or Mega Drive, this is what you'll see. And uh, you really only have just the three things that you can select. You can obviously start the game, or you can select from a pre-saved password. Now, I say saved, what I mean by saved is saved using the old-fashioned method of pen and paper, yes. And then we all also have options. Now, let me talk about the options real quick, since we're here. You have the ability to change the amount of time, and that's because the each level is timed. By default, you have one minute or 60 seconds to complete each level. You can give yourself an additional challenge by taking it down to 45 seconds, or you can give yourself a little bit of an edge by going up to 75 seconds or 90 seconds. Additionally, you can change at what point you are able to get a free or a one-up or a free person or a free chance. By default, it will be every 15,000 points. You can go to uh, 12, five, every 10,000, or you can give yourself a harder challenge by only giving yourself a free chance every 25,000 points. I will leave it at the default. And then there's also essentially a jukebox of sorts where you can listen to the sounds and music. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what the password screen looks like. If you have a four digit numeric password from previously completing another level, you simply select the numbers that correspond to that level and type in the password, like that. 
Now obviously I've chosen an improper password here, but that's okay. That's how the password feature works. Okay, let's start a brand new game on the very first Planalogo system known as Lofto. Now I'm going to pause the game real quick so I can explain what we're looking at on the screen. In the center is the main character, Keisha, whom we control. At the very top center, you'll see the 60. That is the current timer value. In the uh, upper right, you'll see a little shape of a key, which has a number one to it. To complete each level, you must collect a certain number of keys or crystals to unlock the portal at the end in order to complete the level and go on to the next one. In the lower right, we see a 1-1. This indicates that we are in the first Planalogo system on Mini Planet 1, or basically you could call it World 1-1. In the upper left, we have the current score, which I haven't started or done anything yet, so it's at zero. And then obviously in the lower left, it has an X5. And that is to indicate I have five uh, chances left to play. Now the way the game works is you move Keisha around like you see here, and you only have one other option, and that is to jump by pushing any of the buttons on the Genesis controller. Certain obstacles, of course, will hurt and kill Keisha, like falling into water or touching hazards on the game screen. So in this very first level, it's basically an introduction with a simple smallish mini planet where you have to walk and jump over the water obstacle and collect the key to complete the level. Your remaining score will be, or remaining time will be tallied up. And you'll go into the next. Now each level or each mini planet will feature different things. It will usually increase the difficulty, sometimes with new gameplay mechanics, such as new obstacles to navigate. In addition, you'll have to get and collect more keys. In this particular one, I had to collect two. This one introduces the mechanic of the rafts. And you can see that by jumping on the rafts, I'm able to navigate to where I need to go. And again, the difficulty will increase as the levels become more and more complex. So here you'll see an example of a new gameplay mechanic with this little button. And what that will do is that will cause various other parts of the level that you're currently exploring to basically explode and open up new areas to explore or to have to navigate. You'll also have to worry about other potential dangers and obstacles in the path of Keisha as you're trying to complete the levels. As you can see there, there was a bomb in the way that I had to jump over or else I would have been hurt in the process. Upon using the red button to detonate the bomb, you can see that it actually caused part of the level to clear away and open up new paths. Now at the completion of several of the mini planets on a particular level, you'll be presented with essentially a boss level. And what these consist of are different platforming elements like you see here, where you have to collect crystals instead of keys. Once you've collected all the crystals, it's just a matter of touching your cursed or trapped child children at the center of each world. That completes the first Planalogo system, essentially in this case stage one, your score bonus will be tallied up, and you'll go on to the next Planalogo system with mini planets. This is also where you're presented with your password, and this is the only password I will show, which is to get to Planalogo system two. Each world will introduce new gameplay mechanics for additional challenge and puzzle challenge, puzzle solving fun. In this case, we're introduced to the springs, other challenges that you'll encounter as the levels progress and as you go on to other worlds are things like these conveyor belts, for instance, that will push Keisha around that you'll have to fight against, either working with them or to jump against them to get where you need to go. Other hazards that you'll encounter will be things like these balls that you see moving back and forth between the levels that, of course, will injure Keisha if she touches them. So there we are. <clears throat> There's the game Mini Planets, again for the Genesis and Mega Drive. What do you think? 
Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think it's a pretty cool little game. When I first played demos of this a number of years ago, I was pretty much hooked on the mechanics just from playing the game, and just because visually, I think it's very impressive, the programming that's being used. Very, very cool. The game is fairly short, but yeah, you can basically complete the game. If you're familiar with the level layouts and you really know what you're doing, you can basically uh, get through it in probably, I'd say, within about 30 minutes. And uh, once you have the save, or once you have the passcodes for each of the levels, you can obviously go back and play them. So again, the graphics are really neat. Uh, they might be considered simple, but I think they get the job done very well. I think the animation and the different sprite work that's used is really cool. Especially, again, like the 3D effect. And uh, the music, each world or each Planalago system features its own music that plays throughout. Some of it's really catchy, and some of it eh, might get to, to annoy you a little bit towards the end. But... I mainly just focus on the gameplay and go through with it. Additionally, we have different sound effects for all the different things that you encounter. It's a really cool game. I really like it. I believe it's still available to order from Play on Retro, which was where I originally uh, purchased it from. And uh, if it is, I will have a link for that in the video description below. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, got a lot of enjoyment out of checking out this uh, gameplay video review for the game Mini Planets. I do highly recommend it. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll catch you guys next time.